Minnesotans aren't just voting for president this year. While the campaign trail heats up, a battle is quickly ramping up for control of the Minnesota House. Our Capitol reporter Quinn Gorham brings us perspective from leadership in both major parties ahead of the upcoming House race. Down ballot races are going to be a key part of the election this coming November. While there are 134 separate seats up for election this year in the Minnesota House, each of those individual races will have a profound impact on who runs the state of Minnesota next year. In 2022, the DFL secured a trifecta in the state government. The House, Senate and Governor's Office were all won by the party, paving the way for two years of DFL-led policy in the state. Now that trifecta will be at the center of the campaign as both sides rally around its impacts. DFL Chair Ken Martin doesn't believe there's enough momentum to sway four separate districts away from his party, especially after a legislative session that he and his party see as a success. The Republican Party would have to flip four seats to win control of the House majority, and it doesn't appear that there are four seats available for them to flip, particularly when you add in the number of seats that I think we will pick up. While DFLers bank on a positive reception of their work, Republicans are hoping for the opposite. Party Chair David Hand believes they can flip four seats if necessary if voters view the last two years as a problem. And I think people look at that and they say, well, wait a minute, here again, Democrats using whatever they can for very political purposes just to pass a very partisan agenda. To an extent, the Minnesota Senate is also in the mix here. There will be a special election in Senate District 45, a district that both parties say is a must win in order to maintain control of the state legislature. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham.